Hi everyone, this is Braden here from VoiceFlow and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we are going to be going over how to add conditions into our Alexa skills. And that will be using an if block. Now, if you're, it's funny, my Alexa is going off. Um, now, if you're wondering what a condition is, it's essentially uh, looking for something that the user has to do in order for a certain um, path to be activated. And so we'll actually get to do this. And what we're going to be um, testing is using a really simple Alexa skill where the user is going to make a choice between a blue door and a red door. And depending on which door they take, uh, they will be either given a key or not given a key. And then finally, they'll reach a final door, a black door. And if they chose the correct door, we're going to uh, have a variable for the key and they'll be able to open the black door. And if they chose the wrong door, it's gonna be locked. Uh, so it's a super simple, uh, logic test of does the user have the key or not? And so we're actually going to go build that. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to ask the user the question. So we're going to uh, say, uh, you come to a door, do you want to open the blue door or the red door? Okay, so we're going to do that. And just as always, we're going to drag in a choice block. And we're gonna add two options, one for blue door, and I'm gonna add a synonym there for blue, and we're gonna say red door, and I'm gonna add a synonym in for red. Okay, and I link these up. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna have uh, a, uh, we wanna have Alexa speak if they ch chose either path, we wanna have them know what you know, which door did they take? It's always good to tell the user what they just chose so that they know that it worked. So if they went this way, we'll say, you took the blue door and found a key. And we'll say, you took the red door. And we're not gonna say they found a key because if they didn't find the key, they don't know there is a key. Um, so we're gonna connect these up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our variables and we're going to create a variable for, I'm gonna create, delete this name variable. Oh, that's not working. Okay, we're gonna uh, create a variable for key. So I'm gonna go key. There we go, and I'm gonna hit key. And so now we have a variable uh, for our key. And now what we're going to do is, if they go down the blue, do uh, blue door path, we're going to drag it out, out a set variable and we're going to set the key variable to true have the key. We're going to link that up. And if they go down the other path, we're going to set the uh, key variable to false. They do not have the key. So what you can see here is if the user says blue door, they're going to go down the blue door path. It's going to say you took the blue door and found a key. We are going to increase the uh, key variable to true. And if they don't go down the proper door, if they take the red door, it's going to set the key value to false. So now what we want to do is we want to unify the two paths again. And we want to say, you approach a black door that seems to be locked. Okay, so we want to have the user come here after they go down either path. So whether they go down the red or the blue door, they'll come back to this path. And now we want to do our logic test. So we're gonna pull out the if block. And you'll see in here, the if block, you can add many statements just like a choice block. And each of these are different tests that you can run to see if the user has hit that condition. So we're going to set a condition to check if the user has the key. So we're going to do if uh, variable. So we're gonna click on this, if variable. And then we're gonna hit equals. Uh, so we're gonna hit Variable name if key is equal to true. Then uh, it's going to equal the number one. So you can see right here we're in the number one condition. If key is equal to true, they are going to go to this path and say, you open the door with the key. We're gonna come down here. And I link this up too, because that's not linked. And then if they do not have the key, 
We want them, uh, if they do not trigger the number one condition or any other condition, they're going to come down the else path. So imagine if we had multiple different conditions, it's going to see if any of the conditions are right, it will start at number one, then go to two, then three. And if it finally gets down to the last condition and none of them are true, uh, then it's going to hit the else path and it's going to go down there. So we only have one condition, but if you, we had multiple, that's what would happen. So we're going to say, uh, you do not have, have a key. Too bad. Okay, so let's walk through what we've done here before we actually test it. Close these here. So we are starting the skill. We're gonna ask the user, do you wanna go down the blue door or the red door? If they say the blue door, we'll say you took the blue door and found a key, we are going to uh, have a variable for key and we're going to set that to true then uh, they're going to approach a black door that seems to be locked and we're going to check to see if they have the key so we can say if key is equal to true meaning you know if they have the key then uh, they're going to come down the one path the number one condition and say you open the door with the key and I'm going to add yay and if they do not have the key it will come down this path so let's actually test it out on our Alexa Alexa, open test skill. You come to a door. Do you want to open the blue door or the red door? Blue. You took the blue door and found a key. Dot. You approach a black door that seems to be locked. Dot. You open the door with the key. Yay! So you can see it got a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of gibberish in the middle there. That's just because of how I put the text in. Uh, but now we can actually test the other path uh, because right there we open the door. Let's see what happens if we take the red door. Alexa, open test skill. You come to a door. Do you want to open the blue door or the red door? Red. You took the red door. You approach a black door that seems to be locked. Dot. You do not have a key. Too bad. So you can see there, uh, I didn't have any breaks in between the text. That's my bad. But you can see there it said too bad at the end. There was no yay because we got to the black door. It checked our logic and we did not have the key. And so you can use uh, logic statements to do really powerful things. You can do scorekeeping. So uh, you could do trivia games. You can do looping statements. You can do a whole bunch of really fun things and check to see if the user has activated a certain condition. And that is how you, you use conditionals in VoiceFlow. Again, if you have any more questions, you can always go down into the right panel of your VoiceFlow uh, tab, and you can actually talk to one of our team members, and we'll be able to get back to you right away and help out. All right, guys, thanks so much. I cannot wait to see you in the next video where we're, we are going to be adding randomness into our Alexa skills. Take care.